Gentleman from Alabama, uh, the ranking member of the full committee, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Governor, uh, do we have an exit strategy from these ad hoc bailouts of, of uh, failing institutions? We have an exit strategy from the uh, provision of reserves that we have uh, made the very high level of reserves that we now have in the system. Uh, we believe we have the tools to absorb those reserves, to raise interest rates when the time comes to do so. With respect to the individual institutions, uh, I think each institution, like AIG, uh, for example, has a business, is putting in place a business strategy to sell pieces of itself, repay the federal loans, and repay the U.S. taxpayer. So there are strategies being put in place for the individual institutions. You know, to me, the Obama administration proposal actually puts in place a, a permanent bailout agency, and that's the Federal Reserve. It empowers you to, to bail out through loans or guarantees uh, failing institutions, does that's it not? not? That's not my understanding, uh, Congressman. Okay. Would think, you I be... Think in our, in our, uh, we are in agreement with the administration that a separate resolution authority for failing systemic institutions needs to be established under the oversight of the Treasury, not the Federal Reserve. All right. Would, would that include... Uh, would that be an enhanced bankruptcy proceeding? Or? It would be a substitute for bankruptcy procedure, just as we have today for, for banks right. and depository institutions yeah. under the FDIC. So the, the Federal Reserve is, is a systemic regulator would have no right to, to guarantee or loan money to an individual institution? That was in the process of failing. That would be the, uh, the resolution of that institution like Bear Stearns, AIG, would be the province of the Treasury Department. All right, but the Fed, you know, over the past year has guaranteed uh, well, some of the, the obligations and uh, made loans, has it not? We you have participated in it. We have, we have been in a second and third guarantee position for some obligations of Citigroup. Is that what you were? And AIG also. And AIG. And what, right. and what is the total obligation to AIG? Well, I think we have about $45 billion of loans outstanding to AIG, plus some, uh, uh, some special purpose vehicles that have assets that they've taken over from AIG probably total about 40 or 45 billion. Uh, do you anticipate or would you be opposed to a provision in uh, any law that we pass or any to uh, prohibit uh, the Fed or the Treasury from uh, loaning billions of dollars of, of uh, taxpayer money or to these institutions or to uh, guaranteeing their obligations? I would be a, I think somebody in the government, not the Federal Reserve, needs to have the authority to resolve systemically important institutions in an orderly way so they don't threaten the jobs of Americans. Well, I, you know, I would agree with you that, that uh, there needs to be an orderly resolution. That's right. Uh, I would not agree with you that that would include taxpayer funding, or you know, either uh, guarantees or uh, or loans. In the case of you know, as you say, City right. and uh, AIG was in the tens of billions of dollars, actually hundreds of billions of dollars. Right. Uh, do you believe that uh, too big to fail? Do you believe in, in that doctrine? Do you believe in the fairness of that doctrine? I think too big to fail is a very difficult, troublesome issue. I agree with the thrust of your question that we need to deal with. I think there's a terrible moral hazard uh, involved in that. And, I th and my thinking is that uh, the administration proposal, something like the administration proposal, is very helpful in that regard. It has two things. One is that the largest institutions that might be too big to fail 
face much tougher scrutiny, higher capital, greater liquidity, more robust risk management systems, so that they won't fail. And secondly, that there be a resolution authority and a resolution authority that would enable the government to resolve these in an orderly way that might impose costs on, on the creditors, well, but in an orderly way outside of bankruptcy. Well, you, okay. uh, gentleman's time. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. Uh, the chair notes that some members